Hi, I'm Julian. Hi, I'm Joanna. And this is an episode of Howie School. Oh, How can I, I said it alone. Okay. Howie School. He told me we have to do it every time, and then he left me alone. I feel bad. <laughs> I, I feel like I was abandoned. There. <laughs> I feel bad. Today we are going to share some books we got from Amazon. Some were from like Prime Day. Some were from the Buy to Get One Free um, sale they had. And we don't usually buy, we try not to, I should say, I don't want to say we usually don't, but we try not to buy too many books from Amazon as we try to support um, bookstores um, and small businesses. So, but we did get a lot only because um, these were books I really wanted. They were on sale, the price was right. And um, yeah, so we did, we went with Amazon. These are all from Amazon. So, but th this hopefully will be the only one from Amazon Let's this year. Here you go, he, this is one he picked out. Julius Caesar. Not Caesar. Julius Zebra. Julius Zebra, because we did ancient history. He saw actually a video someone posted on Instagram with this book and he had to have it. And what do you think so far? Because you were looking through it already. What did you think? Amazing. Amazing, right? Rumble with the road. Yeah, so he's excited about that one. Do you want to I think do the there's next a book? next book. It's for ages 7 to... Yes, yeah. there is. Oh, that's so funny. Entangled with the Egyptians is another one. Um, it's for ages 7 to 10. And looks like this inside. And he's already been going through that one. So I th that one's an independent read, correct? So that's one for him to read on his own. Um, this is, as I mentioned before, I am going to Our be hit. doing... Oh, I'm going, I'm sorry, well, yes, I do. What does it say? Oh, go ahead. Our handsome hero, hero Julius. <laughs> um, like I said before, we were going we we're going to be doing root words and stuff like that this year. So I've got this once upon a word, a word origin dictionary for kids building vocabulary through etymology, definitions, and stories. Here, here, this part. This is like the beginning. What most people think about zebras. Yippee! Eat grass. Mmm, grass. Lovely grass. Grass for food. Woohoo! Check out my booger. Yuck. <laughs> Always getting eaten. That's not again. What zebras are really like. This I gotta say. Loyal to their family and friends. I love you, Mom. I love you too, son. Ah, uh, we have the nicest herd. Bit of dust on his eye. Cannot run the fastest lines. Okay. See ya, loser. <laughs> and, er, uh, okay. They do actually eat lots of grass. <laughs> and you know All right, so that's the first page of that book telling you things you think you know about zebras and things actually about zebras. All right, back to this one real quick. It has um, roots and branches, these things called word snacks, and kid-friendly definitions in here. So um, it's just teaching what the English language is made up of words from different places, events, and periods of time. And it looks like, I'm trying to get this, like, pictures. There really is pictures in here. Here, I've passed it. And then it has words. All right, you want to do the next one or me? Okay, he's really into his Julius Zebra book, and this is Sorry. exactly what happened earlier when he saw it, because I piled the books up. I tried not to have the boxes out today because yeah, it's a lot and I'm trying to make it go quick and we're already at almost four minutes. So as I mentioned before, we're going to touch upon chemistry this year, probably towards the end of fourth grade, but um, these are on sale. So I um, picked them up already and they are A Kid's Guide to the Periodic Table and Exploring the Elements. So I got both of these and we will use these along. I really like this one because it shows you real items. Look at these images. And then this one is a complete guide to the periodic table. It had good reviews, so I picked it up. All right, you're next, bud. Go ahead. What's your book? Go ahead. The one and only book. Are you excited for that one? Yes. I think you'll be reading yeah. this one independently. We did the one and only Ivan, and you will read the one and only Bob. No, you. No, no. I think you will. Or we'll read this one together, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. He really, guys, you see? That's what's going to happen. I've lost him to his book. I'll just continue going on. He's really, he really wanted that book, and I was like, wait, we're doing the video. Wait. 
And yeah, there's no waiting. Okay. I got this one, Wish Tree from Katherine Applegate, which is also the author of The One and Only Bob. And I had heard good things about this one, so I picked it up as well. And I think this one will be either an independent read or read a lot. I'm not quite sure yet what we're going to do with this one. Uh, oh, it just got dark. I think it's about to come down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I just got this one um, by Joseph Bru Bruchak. I hope it is. I hope I said his name right. Peacemaker, how a powerful storyteller united the Iroquois people. I'm super excited about this one. Had good reviews and it was on my list of books to get. I think this one is going to be um, one we will read together. And then I got We Are Still Here. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so... Um, uh, what is the name of the other book? Why did it leave me? Oh, We Are Grateful. We Are Grateful. I have We Are the we are Grateful from the um, same author, Tracy Sorrell. And so I got the We Are Still Here. It is a picture book. But um, Native American Truths Everyone Should Know. So I picked that one up as well. Oh, I'm really, really, really. Did you hear the crack in the book? It's that new. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited about that one. Are you excited about this one? He's really just excited about that right now. Not till he finishes that. But I'm we sorry. Are, yeah, here, here we go. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm That's so what sorry. happens with the books. Like, why do I have so many books? This is what happens. And when he has a book he's read already, sometimes he'll just go back and read one chapter or two chapters or just skim the book and just enjoy a couple pages of it. It's it's he has actually a shelf of his favorite ones that he goes that he continuously grabs. So yeah. I got Amazing Evolution, the Journey of Life. I didn't have this one. I didn't have, I, don't, I think I maybe only had one book on evolution. So I knew we needed more. This is the journey of life. What makes a fish a fish? Why do giraffes have such long necks? And so yeah, I'm really excited about this one as well. Okay, which is weird, I know, uh, to have an evolution book when um, we are Christian, but we keep schooling secular and I do teach both because I don't want it to come as a shock later on to him or anything like that. So I do buy these books for him. Same way you'll see books on all sorts of religion in our house. Okay, this one was on my um, wish list, so I picked it up when it was on sale, Jump at the Sun, the true life tale of unstoppable story catcher Zora Neale Hurston. Isn't that gorgeous? And I mean, look at that illustration, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. I am really excited about this one. Okay. I'm almost done with mine, so he can show you all of his. He's probably got a bigger pile than I do. And at this rate, I will be showing it to you all because he's reading. Uh, the Case for Loving. I did not have this book. I've been wanting it. So finally, with the sale, I picked it up. The Case for Loving. Um, the Fight for Interracial Marriage. And I, um, being that we live here in Virginia, I thought it was a really good book to have as well. And we got another one that's been on my wish list for I'm a back. while. Oh, you're back. Do you want to go next? Take How is it? Away from me. <laughs> How is it so far? Amazing. Okay, go ahead. Then your turn. What do you want to share? Skunk and Badger. Skunk and Badger. That this is going to be an independent read for him as well. Uh, no one wants a skunk. They are unwelcome on front stoops. They should not linger in rock rooms. Skunks should never ever be allowed to move in. But <gasps> Skunk is Badger's new roommate. roommate. He read some of it already too. He, he have got to stop looking at the books. <laughs> Did you hear the thunder? It's about to pour. So this one's gonna be an independent read for him. So if you hear well. some um, thunder or Next book? rain, uh, yeah. yeah. All right, which book are we up to now? Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban. You got it? You want me to hold this? This is a heavy one, right? So we got the illustrated version. This um, We are up to this book, um, this book three. Um, and she did not read number two. I did I read, read number one, and number two, we actually went with an audio book, but we followed along with the book. Just because sometimes it's it, I don't have the time. So we got both the audio and the book. All right, next one. I'm going to let you do a few because I did quite a few already. Yes. Me again? Okay. One that was on my list that I didn't have. And once again, once, once it was on sale, I picked it up. Oh, are you going to do it next? Okay, see? Explain. 
Explorer Academy Code Breaking Activity Adventure. Yeah, so uh, we mentioned in the last one that um, throughout the year, I'm gonna do a lot of like spy, detective, decoding, um, code breaking with jams so i picked this one up and you know it was i got um the original explorer academy the first book at a used bookstore and things just spiraled out of control from there so i'm super excited for us to be doing that all year long and then do you want to show them the next one so that's the code can breaking. you crack the code um it slipped out of your test jacket how about we show them this one first because it goes with explorer academy oh. next to it Activity challenge. All right, so that's the activity challenge, and this is activity adventure. So now which one's fun. better? Well, solve puzzles, out. travel the world, uncover mysteries to complete your mission. Activity adventure, and this one versus is ultimate activity challenge. So this one is crack. Which one is better? Crack the code, find the clues, get the inside scoop on the academy, and more. And this one is solve puzzles, travel the world, uncover mysteries to complete your mission. So we got both of those, and I did get the first and second books. The first one I found on Ooh. at the used bookstore, and the other one I want to say I got, the second one I either got, uh, I think I showed it last time, actually. Uh, I think I got that one at Book Outlet. Do you want to show this one now, buddy? The day. This, no, this one, because it was coming out. We had to fix it. Go ahead. You can read it. Go ahead. Can you crack the code? A fantastic, a fascinating, a fascinating history of ciphers, ciphers and cryptography. Cryptography. So once again, something to go with cracking codes. And so, like I said, I think I'm hoping this will be maybe once a week or once every other week that we will just have fun yeah, with tired. this. Yeah, you are tired. Okay, which one do you want to do next? You or me? The Dam Keeper. The Dam Keeper. And this one is going to also be a independent read. I pretty much gave him no. a lot of his independent read. Oh, this one is from my pile. How did that sneak into yours? No, it's from mine. This one, you want it? Okay, I'll let you have it. The Dam Keeper is for him. And it's, um, let me show you, a graphic novel. Did you know that? Oh, mm -hmm. the next book Did is... Did you know it was a graphic novel? Really? Yeah. Let me look. Yeah, so that's the Dam Keeper. The job of the Dam, ke dam Keeper is to keep the darkness away. That's what Pig's father taught him. So that's that one. Go ahead. You're going next or Mommy? Yeah. You're going to look at... Yeah, now he has to look at that one. I had that one hidden. Um, so like I said, this was one that was on my list, and I found it on sale, so I picked it up. Let the children march by Monica Clark Robinson. The path may be long and troubled, but I'm gonna walk on. And so I'm excited to add this to our uh, bookshelf. Aren't those pictures amazing? Okay, those are some really beautiful illustrations. Another one I didn't have that was on my list, Unspeakable, the Tulsa Race Massacre. And uh, yeah, it's been on my list. And again, it was on sale, so it was um, how I could get it. And this is going to be one we will read together. Picture. And the thing I like about the picture books is we can read so many of these in a week versus chapter books. We only read one to two a week, um, depending on how fast we're moving through it. What, and when I say one to two a week, I mean we're reading um, one to two books, but sometimes they take us two weeks to finish. Okay, so um, you or me? Me again? Okay. I got, this book just came out recently and I knew I wanted it, Paletero Man by mm -hmm. Lucky Diaz. Um, and even has a little website for a song to go with it. And I'm super excited. Oh, that's not even the first page for this one. As I told you all, we will be really digging into our Hispanic Latino um, history um, this year. And uh, we always do, but I like, we are really like, Diving in. Adelie is a dreamer, a true story. I could do anything here, Adelie said to the city sky, and someday I will. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, and I will be sharing all, all of them and my reviews on them once we read them as we go. I always post on Instagram. Um, what we think and what we're using and what we're using these things with. So once I do that, you um, you can see it there or I'll be posting videos here if you wanna go next or you're still reading. 
Me still? Okay, I'm almost done actually. You're the one with all the books left. I plan on studying the rainforest. It's here, a hopefully. good book. You should definitely buy it. The Dam like... Keeper? Yes. Yeah, you're enjoying it already? Good. So he likes Julia Zebra so far and he's enjoying the Dam Keeper. So he's already giving those some thumbs up here. I plan on studying the rainforest. Hopefully, um, we will study different ones, the Amazon. Um, we were supposed to go to Puerto Rico um, back in May and it got canceled. So hopefully we'll, we'll make it back to Junque um, and we'll discuss um, other rainforests and whatnot. Um, so I got the rainforest book because from by DK because I like these a lot. I have the other four, um, the other three, this is the fourth one. I have the B book, the C book and the back book. So I figured I would love the Rainforest book and it just has a little bit of everything. These books, so I really like it. These are really nice. So I already, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love that one because I love the other three, otherwise I wouldn't have bought this fourth one. Uh, Zonia's Rainforest. Explore the wonders of the rainforest with Zonia in a Shaninka girl whose joyful outdoor adventures are one day interrupted by a mysterious and puzzling discovery. And I just really thought that these illustrations were beautiful. I was super excited about this one. Another rainforest book, <laughs> which is what I have on. I know I've, I noticed I put one of the rainforest books on Jam's pile, so hopefully he'll uh, let us grab that one in a minute. Over and Under in the Rainforest. Um, we're a little old for this um, series, the Over and Under, but I really like them and he really likes them. So I still went ahead and picked up Over and Under the Rainforest because it was on sale. Uh, we have all the other ones over and under. Is it the pond? Uh, I can't even remember what they were. The garden, I think. So yes, let's see. Over and Under the Snow, Up the Garden and Down in the Dirt over and under the pond oh Those i love ones. it yeah. you love it buddy oh, he's really enjoying the dam keeper you guys there's These multiple are... books multiple books in here oh book one well i think this is just book one in here buddy yeah so, th so you'll have to get book two after which is uh, does it tell you yeah okay well don't look at the end of the book careful wait I'm... nobody wants to see the end right okay it's so i got this one even though i think it's kind of young World without darkness. Okay. And this is my last, let's get moving because we're almost done here. Um, all the way down Amazon Rainforest. I picked this up because I just um, got all the way down Ocean and I just really loved it. So it's got this magnetic opening, which I like because then this page, this um, flap, sorry, not page, this flap stays open while you're reading the book. And so while you're in different layers of the rainforest, it tells you information here. It tells you what layer you're in and you have a visual of that layer on the side. So yes, I love this. And I hope they come out with more. So it's a spectacular top to bottom look at the Amazon rainforest from the highest branches through the dense canopy in the thick jungle to the depth, dark depths and the river below. So I'm excited about this one. So yes, we are gonna have a rainforest study. Can I do this rainforest book? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> it's okay. Are you mad at me? No. Nope. Be honest. Pinky promise. Good. Will you be upset after the video at me? Nope. Okay. Why would I do that? Yeah, exactly. You Have okay. I ever been upset when you read a book? Exactly. <laughs> The Leaf Detective, How Margaret Lohman Uncovered Secrets in the Rainforest. So again, more rainforest books. Oh, you can hear the crack. I haven't even <laughs> opened this one. And there she is. All right. So I'm just gonna do the rest of your books. Is that okay? Yeah. Why not? Right at this point. Um. Can you hear the trees talking? So I got. Mm, <laughs> he saw the name Foxy in there, and that's his favorite stuffed animal's name. Um. I got this one because it's discovering the hidden life of the forest. We're always working on botany as well um probably a couple times a month so i picked this one up because i felt like it was for older kids so it has more information in it than normal for him and so therefore like i said before since we are upgrading a lot of books um to be geared more for his age 
I picked this one up and I'm excited to try it out. Uh, Magic Ramen. I picked this one up because it just looked really nice. Um, and it was a Smithsonian top 10 best children's book of 2019. So I picked it up and it had this one and um, I just thought it would be nice. So here's the story of ramen. Okay, I'm going to scoot under you and we're almost Wait, done. We're almost this done. book I'm doing. Okay, so that will, and this one? Uh, or me? You can Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not going to share this one because I actually bought something for this. I'll share that next time with that yeah. thing I bought for it. Okay, two more books to go. A um, Natural History of Fairies. This has been on my list. They have A Natural History of Magic, I believe it's called, coming out in September, um, which I cannot wait for. It says, Dear Reader, are you ready for a magical journey like no other? Then look no further. Fairies are all around us and you just need to look carefully. Perhaps you've already been lucky enough to see one fluttering at the bottom of your garden or hiding away in your attic. And um, Jessica Rue, I follow her on Instagram. She's an amazing artist. So the fact that she did these illustrations also really, really sold me on getting these books. I mean, really. And we love all things magical, fairies, gnomes, elves, all of it. Yes? All right. Even though I did get something to go with this book, I'm just going to share it because it's out. Hands-on engineering. I got a little, um, some engineering kits, I think, to go with this. It's for grades four to six, so we'll use this for a little bit. It's hands-on engineering. Immersive students in the world of real-life engineers through engaging authentic learning experiences Students will create innovative solutions to relevant and timely designs and engineering challenges while building STEM skills. So it's more for me because it tells me the challenge and it has the subject and skills, materials, vocabulary, purpose, objectives, activity preparation, and activity procedure. And Hey, um, you said you weren't going to show it. Yeah, I know, I know. And then I changed my mind. I was like, I, I think I might as well show it even though... Um, I have bought stuff to sort of kind of go with it. So here's like a building bridges activity sheet. So yeah, it's it's really nice. And it has uh, how many challenges? 26 challenges in the book. And last but not least, you want to show your last book? I will hold your page for you. You are beautiful be Beginning. Beginning. You are a beautiful. What does it say in the back? Go ahead. It's not wishing to be di different. It's a learning to love being you. It's not the end of your story. It's a beautiful beginning too. And it's just nice to be reminded of that you are a beautiful beginning. So I'm just, we're almost done. So, so here sorry, you go. Guy. Wait. It's just so beautiful. We can't make it to 24. It's okay. And look, so it's a very simple picture book and things like this I might usually leave just for nighttime or as um, as soon as we wake up in the morning because they're just short, nice reads. And that has been another episode. Wait, time out. That was all, that was where all the books we are adding to our library from Amazon this year. And Jam says thumbs up to Julius Zebra and the Dam Keeper, which I can book number one. Oh, book one of the Dam Keeper, um, which I can see he is already a quarter of the way through now. Okay, now you can say it. Go ahead. And this has been another episode of How We School.